Hello sports fans and football fans, especially those fans of Stratomatic football. I'm here with another game in my Bears season. Uh, we have the standings up here. You can see what every team is doing so far. <coughs> and you can compare your favorite team to how they actually did in 2023. And on that note, the Chicago Bears are doing much better than they did through four games in 2023. They are 3 and 1. The Bears are leading their division at 3 and 1 with 116 points for and only 81 against. Very good season so far, and today we're taking on the 1 and 3 Washington Commanders. So, um We'll take a quick look at the schedule, the Bears' schedule. You can see we we beat Green Bay the opening week, 38-17. Then we beat Tampa Bay, 30-27, the second week in overtime. Then we beat the world champion, Kansas City Chiefs, 31-14. And then last week we lost a nail-biter. I say that, but it really wasn't close if you watched. We lost to the Denver Broncos 23-17. The score, again, made it look a little closer than it really was. Uh, we had issues in that game. But, um, and, and most notably, we committed a lot of penalties. So let's hope we don't do that this game. Uh, so, we will get on with this uh, week. And uh, we will take on Washington. And you can see our game right here, Chicago, Washington, play one week. And then we'll take a look at what's going on. Denver, by the way, is 4-0. So we did lose to a 4-0 Stratomatic team, but in real life they were not nearly that good. The Ravens are 4-0, and the Jets are somehow 4-0 without uh, their man, Aaron Rodgers. So I don't know how that's happening. Because they have uh, Zach Wilson at quarterback. And now, yeah, they did lose a game. They finally lost a game. So, uh, let's get on with our game, though. We're taking on Washington. we got to worry about Washington. And I am going to defer the kickoff. So, we're going to kick off to Washington, and we will receive in the second half. And we're underway in Washington. And they're returning the ball. And uh, that's a hell of a return. They're going to get out to the 36-yard line. Byron Pringle does that. So let's go over the Washington offense and our Bears defense. Um, the flanker will be Jahan Dotson. Tight end will be Logan Thomas. Right tackle is Andrew Wiley. The right guard is Sam Cosme. The center will be Nick Gates. The left guard will be Shahik Charles. The left tackle will be Charles Lino. Uh, second tight end is going to be John Bates. Um, you're going to have Terry McLaurin, of course, out there, split end. Um... The running back will be Brian Robinson Jr., uh, who you may or may not remember if you're a football fan, but he was shot in the leg before his rookie season, which delayed um, his, um, you know, his, that that rookie season. But he has come on strong and fully recovered from that. And the um, the quarterback will be Sam Howell. He attempted 612 passes for a 63.4 per completion percentage. And a 3.4 interception percentage, a little high, and uh, so there you go. But he did also rush the ball 48 times for a 5.5-yard uh, average. So we do have to be careful about him out on the edges. We will start with the um, balanced defense against Washington and see what that does. Oh, I didn't go over the defense. Well, we'll go over the Bears' defense in a minute. That is an incomplete pass by Howell. So, uh, yeah, let's go over our defense. Um, left end will be Montez Sweat. Left tackle will be Justin Jones. The right tackle will be Gervon Dexter Sr. The right end will be Yannick Nagoki. 
the left linebacker will be Jack Sanborn. Middle linebacker is Tremaine Edmonds. The right linebacker is TJ Edwards. You've got uh, Jalen Johnson out on the cornerback spot. Strong safety is Joaquin Brister, Brisker. Free safety is Eddie Jackson. And the cornerback, right cornerback, will be Tyreek Stevenson. So let's, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to put in a pass defense. And there is a pen, penalty flag. <clears throat> it's incomplete, so hopefully it's on them and not us. Because I didn't catch it. I didn't see. Uh, they've got a first and 10 at the 49, so I guess it was on us. God, you see, again, penalties will kill us. Washington themselves, with their talent, isn't going to beat us. It's going to be the, uh, it's going to be penalties and mistakes, fumbles, interceptions, that kind of thing is what's going to beat us if it happens. So, and in real life, we did beat Washington. So, um, I'm going to put in the pass defense. He runs the ball with Robinson. And Robinson gets some yards, too. Five yards off tackle. We have a second and five. I am going to... I'm going to put in the run. Just put in the run. Let's... Yeah, he does run, and we did stop him. So he's got a third down coming up. A key third down. Now, he did get two yards there, so he's got a third and three. I'm still going to put in the pass, though. They don't have the kind of running game I would think that they would... Oh, nice! Whatever happened there, they didn't get the yards they needed. Four-yard loss. So he did complete the pass to Robinson in the backfield, but they are going to... They're going to kick a field goal. They're going to try to kick a field goal here. I'll put in the kick block. That's going to be a, a tough one, but no, they make it. They make it. So Washington's up 3 nothing, mainly because we had a penalty that kept a drive going. So they're going to kick off. Hopefully we can move the ball on them, I'm hoping. They don't have a very good, uh, they don't have a very good defense, so that is in our favor. That's a nice return, too. We're out to the uh, 36, just like they were on their first possession. So, uh, let's go over our offense. You've got uh, split end DJ Moore. you got Robert Tunyon as a second tight end. Left tackle is Braxton Jones. Left guard is Taven Jenkins. The center will be Lucas Patrick. The right guard will be Nate Davis. The right tackle will be Darnell Wright. The tight end will be Cole Komet, the primary tight end. Um, Darnell Mooney is out on the flanker. You got our main man, Khalil Herbert, as running back, and Justin Fields at quarterback. So I am going to start with an off tackle by Herbert. I'm going to do an off tackle run. And he gets maybe two yards, maybe. Yeah, that's what he got, two yards. Uh, let's go line buck with Herbert. I don't know if they'll be expecting us to run twice in a row, and they probably didn't, and he got some good yards, too. Four yards there, so we got a third and four. Now, uh, he's almost certainly going to be looking for the pass. Let's go line buck with Herbert. I know we're overworking Herbert early here. And he gets the first down and a little bit more. But I wanted to get a first down, and, uh, you know, we're almost in Washington territory. We got a first and 10 at our own 48. Let's go flat to Tunyon. Flat pass to Tunyon. Think Fields could handle that. You would think. Nice. He gets it into a tight window. And Tunyon is taking this guy down the field. <laughs> nice. Well, we're almost in field goal range ourselves for uh, Santos. So we've got maybe almost a tie game at least in the bag. And what I am going to do is go... Um, 
Let's go back to the off tackle with Herbert. And he gets some good yards. Nice. I mean, that's what we want to do. We want to work it down the field. No mistakes. At least come away with a tie game after the first series. You know, that kind of thing. Let's go flat to Moore. Second and five. And he gets it for a first down. Nice. Again, the Washington defense isn't really all that good. So we should be able to move the ball. I'm going to go short pass. Let's see if we can get it in. Short pass to Moore. If we can get it right in the end zone right now. And, ooh, he got a first down. I'll take it. And we are definitely in field goal range. So, yeah, we're moving the ball nicely on Washington. I like to see that. And we're, for the most part, avoiding penalties, although we do have one already. Um, I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. Overworking Herbert, but you know what? I want to get that score, and we do. We take the lead. So now, I mean, now Herbert can go sit down on the bench and watch the rest of the game. No, he can't. <laughs> Not going to do that. But we are going to kick the extra point, and hopefully Santos puts it up. And he does. So we take a 7-3 to three lead here early. Both teams have had the ball once. Both teams have scored. So we're going to kick off. And hopefully this time we can stop them. Hopefully this time we don't have a penalty. A stupid penalty. I mean, I, I'm a big advocate of the fact that if you had a team, an inferior, totally inferior team, and they committed no penalties and no turnovers, they could hang with any team. All right, let's go. We're going to start off with the balanced. See what that does. See, another good thing is that their offense is really not all that great. Um, Howell was, there was a point in, in the season where Howell was leading the league in passing yards um, last year. But near the end, he really got careless. He got worse. Things went, you know, awry. Ooh, he's, got, he's out on the run, but him must running. He had a, actually a good card, so he does get some yards. And he's going to get uh, the Commanders out to the 41-yard line. So that is a, he is kind of a weapon from that standpoint, too. We're going to go back to the balanced. Now, the balanced was the defense we used a lot with the, with the uh, Chiefs, against the Chiefs, and it worked really well. However, the Chiefs are a much differently configured team than Washington is. All right, he's got a second and ten. Now I am, you know what? I'm going to look for, okay, he's passing. He's definitely passing. I'm going to look for the pass, and I'm going to double team McLaurin. Oh, he runs it right up the gut. Oh, he really snookered me there. Antonio Gibson, but he only got two yards. So he's going to have a third and eight. He is definitely going to pass here, and I am going to look for the pass and double team McLaurin just like I was going to do last on the last down. And it's going to be incomplete, and he will punt. So we finally did hold him. I didn't say finally. It's only his second drive of the game, but we did hold him to a... Uh, to not, um, you know, not getting in its scoring position. I'm going to try to return the ball. <coughs> That's always a risk because you could always fumble. Although it seems like, and I don't know if computer players out there want to let me know, but it seems like you fumble more on things like that, like returns, punt returns, kick returns, in the computer game than you would in real life. But that's maybe just my impression. I don't know. Um, let's try a, a short pass to Mooney. Let's see if we can air it out because he might be thinking, uh-oh, uh-oh, Fields is on his own on the run. And he only got a few yards. Yeah, so we're going to have a second and seven coming up. Didn't get a lot of yards there. 
Okay, uh, let's go Linebuck with Foreman. See, we, we've already probably dogged Herbert to the point. Ooh, there was a flag. Hopefully it's on him. Let's see. But we probably already dogged Herbert to the point where the computer is like, no. All right, second and 17. I am going to go short to Moore. Oh, he's on the on a, on his own on the run, and he gets some yards again, but it's not a lot. Four yards this time. So we're going to have a third and 13 coming up. I'm going to go short to, now, let's go short to, let's go short to Komet. He's a pretty reliable receiver. Oh, he's going to get sacked. Come on. All right, they sack field, so we have to punt. So we held him on his second uh, series of downs, and he held us. And we're punting from very deep, so he's going to have good field position. Hopefully he makes a mistake, fumbles the ball, but he doesn't. So he's going to return it and be first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Not good. Uh, put it in the balance defense to start. And he comes out to the end edge with a pass, and it's incomplete. Okay, uh, you know what? I've just got a feeling he's going to run the ball, so I'm going to look for the run. Oh, we're off sides. It doesn't even matter. He's got a free play. Unbelievable and bad. Well, it was complete for a respectable 13 yards, and then we tackled him right when he caught the ball. He's got a first and 10 at, the, at our 42. I'm going to put in the pass. He is passing. And it is just off the fingertips of his receiver for an incomplete pass. Let's... This time, let's look for the run, and let's hope we don't get off sides. No, no, he's passing. And he got the first down for 11 yards, so he's back in field goal range. Oh, boy. I'm going to look for the pass. Oh, we're off sides again. We have to stop with the penalties. Well, he's probably going to refuse that. We couldn't stop him either. I mean, it's it's a, dub, a double whammy. We're making penalties, and we can't stop him on the on the uh, plays where we make the penalties. He's got a first and ten at our twenty. I'm going to do a linebacker blitz. Uh, that isn't really going to do anything. He catches the ball, and he gets maybe five yards on that. Yeah. So he's got a second and five. I mean, I'd like to hold him to a field goal here, but I don't know. He's moving the ball pretty well. Let's look for the run and key on Gibson. And he passes, and he will get a, uh, get a nice gain out of it, too. So he's got a first and goal to six. I'm going to key on Robinson Jr. and look for the run. No, he's passing. Ah, Howell is too good if you're not looking for it. I mean, he was pretty good last year. So uh, he picks up six yards and a touchdown. And so they're going to take the lead again. They're going to be back in the lead by the score of 10 to 7. All right. And he's kicking off. And we'll take it as a touchback. 
Ooh, there was a penalty. Yeah, I'll accept the penalty. Why not? Let's make him kick it again from further back. Although maybe that wasn't a great idea. And it, it ends up with the same thing. All right. Uh, let's go looking past Komet. And he catches it. And he got a few yards. Two yards. So we have a second and eight coming up. Second and eight. Um, let's go flat pass to Moore. He's looking and it's going to be incomplete. All right, we're going to have to try a short pass here, and if this doesn't work, we're in trouble because we have to punt again. And it does, though, and we get the first down, thank God. I mean, you would think against a bad defense it's not that hard to move the ball. There is 13.09. We're in the second quarter, by the way. There's 13.09 left in the half. Uh, let's go flat to Herbert. Ooh, that might be a good gainer. Eh, it was a pretty good gainer. We got uh, four yards. And, uh, and again, I did that mainly because people have criticized me in the past for not passing to the backs. So we did. We got a second and four. Let's go line buck with Herbert. Oh, he's going to get trapped in the backfield. <coughs> One thing we cannot afford... There, there's two things. We can't afford a lot of penalties, and we cannot afford to lose yards. You know what? I am going to, on this down, I am going to do, I'm going to pull out my secret play, which is the end run with Fields. Oh, and they get him! He loses yards on it! Ow! This Washington is really playing us tough. This is crazy. All right, we're going to have to punt. Now, we lost to Denver, and we really did lose to Denver in real life, but we did not lose to Washington. So it would be funny if after five games we're 3-2 and two, with a loss to a team that we played a close game against in real life but lost and another team that we actually beat. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he runs it, but we get him quickly. So, yeah, we got him at the line of scrimmage. Nice. Second and 10 for him at his 34. I am going to look for the, the uh, pass again. Oh, he runs it again. We do get him, but now he's only three yards away. I don't think he's going to run the ball on third and three, though. Uh, we're going to look for the pass. We're going to look for the pass, and we're going to double-team McLaurin. And he runs again! God. He's tricking me. We're making penalties. We can't move the ball. I mean, we kind of can move the ball, but uh, this is really crazy. Uh, I think he, all right, this time he had a penalty. Thank God. So he's got a first and 15. I'm looking for the pass. You want to run the ball with your not great running backs? That's great. And he does, and he gets a lot of yards out of it, like 13 yards on that when we were looking for it. And to McLaurin, who normally I'm double teaming, but that time I decided not to. Let's look for the pass. And he runs. Stopping this guy is crazy hard. 
I should not be having this much, this many problems against the commander's offense. All right, let's look for the run. Of course, now he'll pass. Yes, of course, he's going to pass now. It's incomplete, though, I think. All right, all right, good. Second down, I am going to... I'm going to look for the pass against my better judgment because I think he'll run. No, no, he is passing. Good. And he does, and he gets the first down. Howell is really, he's having a good day. I, he's. Howell is 10 of 16 today for 89 yards and a touchdown. I'm going to look for the run. I, mean, I, I don't even know what to look for anymore. He's got me guessing left, right, and upside down. And he catches it right at the five-yard line where our defender makes the tackle. This is, uh, this is, I, I, there's no words. I mean, this, this, Washington is playing like Kansas City should have been playing. All right, um, I'm going to run and key, look for the run and key on Robinson. And he, he runs it right up the middle himself for a touchdown. <sighs> No, it was Brian Robinson. No, great. And we, the guy that we were keying on got five yards on a touchdown. All right. We're getting smoked. Um, by the way, I do want to point out, as I have in at least one past video, if we start to really get blown out and it's apparent that we're not going to win the game, I will skip ahead in the game where you will actually see me doing a quick play to a certain point in the game and then we will take it from there so that the video I don't make you sit through you know an hour plus long video um, just to see us lose all right let's try let's come out with a long we're gonna go long to more let's see what happens if we do that And it's incomplete. Moore dropped the ball, apparently, because it was right there. Yeah, we're losing 17-7 here, so let's go short. I mean, we've got to like we've got to get down the field. We we can't real Oh, looks like we had some movement up front. Another penalty for the Bears. This is I, I, didn't I say coming into this game, this is the one thing we can't afford to do is a lot of penalties. But we're doing it. We're making too many penalties. Okay, that's a completed pass. And let's see if he can get some serious yards. And he is getting some serious yards and he needs to. All right. At least we're in field goal range and could possibly make it 17-10 at worst. There is 6.22 left in the half. And we are in a bad way. Okay, let's go line buck with Foreman. I don't think they expected that, but he only got a yard or two. Two yards. Let's go flat pass to Komet. And that's complete, and that got a lot of yards. So we're in field goal range. So we'll be within one score at least, hopefully. I say hopefully. Um, but a touchdown would be good. Okay, let's go short. I'm going to try to pop it right into the end zone right now. And leave all... Oh, he's out on the run. Must run for fields. <coughs> he gets a few yards. <coughs> gets three yards on that. Let's go line buck with Foreman. I don't think they expected that. They really didn't because he just made a touchdown for us. So we're back in it. We're not getting blown off the ball here at least. Now we will get the ball at the um, 
outset of the second half. So if we can hold him. Ah, he misses the extra point. How did I know that was going to happen? When it rains, it pours, people. All right, it's 17-13, and we're going to kick off. So there might be a two-point conversion somewhere in our future. I am going to look for the... I'm going to put in the balanced again. Because I just don't even know what to call with this guy. That's going to be incomplete. Nice. I just got a feeling he's going to run. I got a sneaking feeling he's going to run, and I'm going to key on Gibson for the run. I mean, if you, I mean, you might as well go all in if you're going to guess run. No, he's passing. And he does, and he gets some nice yards out of it. So we got um, probably around three minutes left in the half. 244. There's 244 left in the half. It's 17-13. I'm going to look for the pass. Because now it's getting late. I think he's really going to want to pass here. He does, and he gets a lot of yards from it into our territory. He's moving the ball on us like we're, like we're just like a hot knife through melted butter. All right. Gonna look for the pass. He does pass and he's making a beeline. Yeah, this is where he st starts to make a beeline for the sidelines and he couldn't get out of bounds. So he gets seven yards on that. So he's got a feel, he's in field goal range. Um, two minutes left. I am gonna look for the pass. Gotta be safe and look for the pass. And again, he's going to try to beeline it. He gets the first down, but we again get him in bounds. So he, we're going to force him to use his timeouts. He gets four yards on that. Minute 30 left. Um, I'm going to look for the pass. There is a penalty on the play. Hopefully that's on him and we can back him up. That time it looks like he got out of bounds. Uh, personal foul penalty. God, we cannot afford this kind of stuff. I'm really getting frustrated here. We should be beating Washington. All right, interception. I'm just going to I'm just going to um I'm just going to keep the ball. All right, we stopped him. I, you know, I don't even care how it happened. We stopped him. And he didn't score. So we've got a minute 15 left. Might as well launch it. Let's go deep to more. And if we can get in the field goal range, we can get into field goal range. It's incomplete. We're going to try that again. Going to go long, long pass to Mooney. Down the sidelines, Mooney catches it. Nice. Let's see if I can call a timeout now. Okay, so we did. We got a minute left. Let's try a short pass to Moore. You cannot get sacked right there. You can't. <sighs> All 
All right, we're going to call our second time out, and this time we got to go bomb again to more. That's just off its fingertips, but it's an incomplete pass. It'll stop the clock. And we have a third and 19 from our... from... Uh, from R46. Going long again. To Mooney, it worked last time. That time it's going to be incomplete. Yeah, I guess we'll punt. I mean, I was thinking of going for it and then saying you're only going to have 30-something seconds left, but he could have probably put it in the, uh, he could have possibly gotten into field goal range and kicked the field goal. So, probably best that I didn't do that. And we're going to look for the pass. He runs it, of course, gets some yards. But that should be the half. No. He's got another play. All right. Look for the pass. He runs the ball. We stop him. Looks like we'll go in at halftime 17-13, and we will receive the opening kickoff of the second half. And that is going to be that. So I will show the first half stats box score um, as soon as we're set with the ball. Looks like we're going to get a touchback and that's fine. Losing 17-13 to Washington at the half. So let's go look at the box score. Not Probably not pretty. Fields is 9 of 14 passing 153 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, Howell is 16 of 24 passing, 161 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Herbert, for us, has six rushes for 23 yards. Fields has four for six. And Deonta Foreman has two for 16 and a touchdown. For him, Brian Robinson Jr. has six rushes for 28 yards. Antonio Gibson has four for 16, and Howell has one for 10. So, uh, let's go off tackle with Johnson. I don't even know who Johnson is, but he gets a couple yards, right? Yeah, two yards. Uh, let's go... Uh, flat pass to Tunyon. And Tunyon has almost got a first down. He's a yard away. <clears throat> we should be able to do that, and I'm going to try that with Fields. Third and one. Let's go line buck, Fields. Ooh, he didn't get it. I'm going to go for it. I know I shouldn't. I really, really, really shouldn't, but I'm going to go for it. So we're going to put in the uh, blocking back, and we are going to go line buck with fields. And he gets the first down and a lot more, and we, and we did it. I took a took a risk there, but I mean, you know, you get to the where you got fourth and a yard, fourth and inches, you got to get that, and we did. So uh, let me go look in pass to Tunyon. Plus, you're dealing with a defense that really isn't very good, so they shouldn't have been able to stop that. 
like they did the play before. All right, we got a first and 10 at the Washington 47. We're moved into their territory. Let's go line buck with Johnson. I don't know if they were looking for that, but he got some good yards. Six-yard pickup for Johnson. Ra Rashawn Johnson. Uh, let's go draw play fields. Oh, we're off sides. We can't afford to do that. I mean, uh, false start. All right, second and nine. Let's go look in pass to commit. And he gets the first down. Nice. Man, we really, penalties are going to kill us. This team is not good enough. The offense is not good enough to afford penalties. And yet, the first th like three games of the year where we won all three, we had very few penalties. All of a sudden now, we have a ton of penalties every game. I'm going to go line buck with Johnson. Oh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. Again, and we that's another thing we can't afford. All right, second and 11. We are at the Washington 35. I'm going to go flat to Moore. Ah. <sighs> You gotta be kidding me. Third and 11. All right, we gotta go short pass. Short to Mooney. And he gets it for probably a touchdown. Let's hope a touchdown. Yes, 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 and we take the lead finally. So, uh, we will kick the extra point. Hopefully Santos makes this one. No, he doesn't make another one. What an idiot. All right, 19-17. Now, I mean, definitely next time I'm going for a two-point conversion. I don't know why Santos keeps missing extra points. Stupid. All right, we have a 1917 uh, lead. We really need to stop him. I mean, we've only really stopped him once that I can recall. Twice. We stopped him twice. Once we stopped him on downs, once we intercepted him in the end zone. I think he's going to run here. And I'm not even going to uh, key on anybody. I'm just going to look for the run. And he passes, of course, but it's incomplete. So that sets up a really definite passing down for him. And pass, and we're going to double team McLaurin. And it's incomplete. Thank you. I think we stopped him. I mean, I'd say that because who knows? He might go for it and pick it up. I mean, we're having a really bad game, so... But no, he is going to send out um, Tressway and Punt. We And we held him up pretty quick, too. I am going to try to return the ball, and he just takes the fair catch, I guess. Yep. So, uh, 8 19 left in the third quarter. Let's go line buck with Johnson to start here. Johnson, nice run by Johnson. I don't think they uh, were ready for that, although they also don't have a very good run defense. So, uh, let's go. Let's go end run. Try my my patented end run with Fields. And he gets a few yards, maybe two. 
three yards. So we got a second and seven. Second and seven at the Chicago 42. Let's go look in pass to Moore. And it's going to be complete for a lot of yards. And we are into Washington territory, thankfully. Now, it, it's a funny thing. I would trust Santos more to kick a field goal than I would now an extra point. But anyway, I digress. Let's go line buck with Johnson. Uh, he gets stopped at the line, it looks like. Yep. Second and ten. Second and ten at the 42. Let's go flat pass to Moore. And that's going to be complete for a first down and just a tad more. And we're keeping the clock moving. We're keeping the chains moving. All good news. Got a first and ten at the Washington 30. Let's go off tackle with Johnson. And he's going to get some good yards. Love it. Uh, let's go line buck with Johnson. Now we're overworking Johnson. But I'm all for it. I'm here for it. So uh, he gets five yards on a first down. Got a first and ten at the Washington 18. Let's go look in pass to Moore. It's incomplete. And let's take a look at what Fields is doing right now. So Fields today is 15 of 22 for 245 yards and a touchdown. Actually, that's a pretty good day. Uh, I'm going to go line buck, though, with Foreman. And he gets back to the line, so we're going to have a third and ten. Uh, let's go short pass to Mooney. It's incomplete off his fingertips, so we're going to have to send Santos out for a field goal. And go up by five, hopefully. We will kick the field goal. Hopefully Santos makes this. He does. He nails this, which is effectively really an extra point, but he couldn't do the extra points. So that's good. We take a five-point lead here in this game, and it is 22-17, and we will kick off. So he needs a touchdown to go ahead of us, and then even with a touchdown and the extra point, he's only two ahead. 2.42 left in the third period, or the uh, third quarter. I'm going to look for the pass. I think now he's going to get a little more desperate and has to pass. No, he runs the ball, but we stop him quickly, which is very, very good. Robinson only gets a yard out of that. And by the way, the um, Chicago defense against the run is good. So I think we're like average to poor against the pass. And he passes it and gets uh, the 11 yards he needed for a first down. 10 yards. Right, he got a yard on first down. So, first and 10 for Washington at their own 36. Going to look for the pass. There is a penalty, and it's probably on us. Yeah, let him have the yards. I mean, you know. Once you made a penalty. Let's see what that was. 
Personal foul. No. You cannot allow this to happen. We've got to stop with the penalties. He's running the ball. He gets nine yards. Moving the ball on us. Well, really, we're letting him move the ball on us by making stupid penalties. I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Robinson. We need something good to happen here. No, he's going to pass. And it's incomplete. All right, well, that brings up third and one. And a field goal doesn't tie the game. So, but he would probably go for it. I would think he'd go for it. We're going to run and key on Robinson. He's passing. And he is going to hit his receiver and get a first down. And looks like the third quarter might just be over on that play. Nope, 11 seconds left. I am going to look for the run. We're just going to look for the run. He runs it, and we stop him at the line. So, second and nine, I'm going to look for the run. Make him pass it. Make him make a completion. He runs the ball, and we stop him again. And he's eating time, so we're in the fourth quarter. He's got a third and six from the eight. This time I am going to look for the pass. I've got to look for the pass. He is going to pass. And it's incomplete, so he'll kick a field goal. I think he'll kick a field goal because six yards is a little bit long to go. Yeah. Good. He's kicking a field goal. I'm going to do the kick block. And it doesn't work, but he does get a field goal, which makes the score 22 20 us. And we will get a touchback. All right, uh, let's go off tackle with Foreman. Foreman has been really actually very good. Oh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. So Foreman on the day, four rushes for 14 yards, a 3.5 yard average, and a touchdown. Let's go flat pass to Moore. And I think that's, maybe that's complete? It is for four yards. So we got a third and eight. I'm going to try a look-in pass to Moore. Now let's go to Mooney. And it is good for a first down and a little bit more. And we keep the chains moving. We keep the clock moving. Really needed that. Because if we had had to punt right there, it would have been bad news. First and ten for us at our 41 yard line. Let's go line buck with Foreman. And he gets uh yeah, he gets a couple yards. Three yards. So we got a second and seven. I'm gonna try the end run with our boy Fields. And he doesn't get anything. He lost a yard on that. And this is bad news. Third and eight. Got to go uh, looking pass to Moore. And 
And he catches it, it looks like, but he's short of the first down. Oh, God. This is a tough decision. For Yeah, we're going to punt. I mean, but we can't stop Washington. <clears throat> That's a problem. We it's, For some reason, we can't stop his offense. Or it's very difficult to. And it goes into the end zone, so he's going to have a touchback. I'm going to look for the pass. He is passing. That's good news. And it's way incomplete. It was to, like, nobody in general. Going to look for the pass. He is passing. We stop him right when he catches it, so like a five-yard pickup. And third and five. We got to stop them right here. I'm looking for the pass. Just the general pass. And we do stop him a yard short of the first down. And now it's interesting. Will he punt? And he will. Thank you. I figured he would. He was too deep in his end. I am going to try to return it, and we get it out to the 27, so we got a first and 10 at the 27. With under nine minutes left, 843, let's go line buck with Johnson. I mean, at this point, we just want to eat, we mainly want to eat clock. That's the main thing we want to do. All right, um, I'm going to go flat to Tunyon. And he catches it, it looks like, right at the first down marker. Yep. In traffic, Tunyon makes the catch. We've got a first and 10 at the 37. Let's go short pass to Mooney. Oh, incomplete. Okay, Fields on the day is 19 of 28, passing 271 for a touchdown and no interceptions. We've got a second and 10. I'm going to go flat to Moore. And he's going to get the first down and a lot more. Nice. And the unfortunate thing here, because of the missed um, extra points, is even if we kick a field goal, we're still only up by five, and he could win the game with a touchdown. So we really need a touchdown here. I'm going to go line buck with Johnson. Ooh, he gets some nice yards on that, too. But more importantly, we keep eating the clock. So, second and five. Let's go line buck with Johnson again. That time he only gets maybe a yard. Yeah. So, it's going to be third and four. Third and four, we're at the Washington 34. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out my end run fields play. Oh, and he loses yards. We couldn't do that. We had a field goal. God. All right, we got to try a coffin corner punt then. I mean, we're not going to stop him all day long. That's apparent because we haven't been able to. So he's going to have it first and 10 at the five yard line. I'm going to look for the run, 
and he does an outlet pass and uh, gets nine yards on it. I'm going to look for the run. And he does run, and he's losing a ton of yards. And we get him in bounds nicely, too. So he's going to have like a uh, third and nine here. Going to look for the pass, and we're going to double team McLaurin. He runs. What is he doing? He's not going to get the first down. Well, he's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's going to go for it, and and he might. No, he's punting. All right. You know, I don't know what you just did there, but uh, I love it. Two-point lead. We're hanging by a thread. I'm going to try to catch it and return it. And we get it out to the 49, our 49. First and 10 at our 49-yard line. I am going to go with our safe line buck with Herbert. And he gets a few yards. I mean, now it's definitely just, just eat the clock. But again, with a two-point lead, he only needs a um, he only needs a field goal. I'm gonna go flat pass to Moore, and it's gonna be complete. Nine yards on that keeps the clock moving. Got a first and ten. I'm gonna go looking past the Tunyon. That's incomplete. Second and ten. I'm gonna go off tackle with Herbert. And he gets stopped quickly, but we're eating clock. We got a yard. Going to be third and nine. Third and nine at the Washington 38. I'm going to go flat pass to Moore. And he's going to get the first down, and that's exactly what we needed. Okay, first and 10 at the Washington 25. We're going to go line buck with Herbert. Oh, a fumble. Fumble, and he recovered the fumble. Well, now we got to play defense. First and 10 at the 25 for him. I'm going to look for the pass. It's incomplete. Nice. I'm going to look for the pass again. There is a penalty on the play. And we stop him at the first down marker. Okay, it was on Washington. Good. So he's got a second and 10 at the 25. I'm going to look for the pass. Minute 30 left in the game. And we stop him after a five yard pickup. So he's going to have a third and five coming up. Of course, he'll probably go for it. So I'm going to look for the pass, just a general pass defense. 
and he's going to beeline it for the out of bounds, and we get him in bounds, which is really great. But again, remember, he only needs a field goal. Field goal wins this game for him. I'm going to look for the pass. We get him in bounds again, and he only gets five yards. Second and five at midfield. Going to look for the pass. And he gets the first down, but we nail him right there when he gets it just past the first down marker. Uh, going to look for the pass. This is going to come right down to the wire. Uh, it looks like he's got a field goal. He's got a field goal. If his kicker is worth anything. Ooh, we knocked him out of field goal range. I think we knocked him out of field goal range with that sack. Nice. I mean, I he might try it. Third and 18 from our 40 with 15 seconds left. And the game is over. <laughs> nice. We hung on. We hung on. We're going to take a look at the reports here. That was incredible. What an incredible finish to this game. Fields was 22 of 32 passing, 316 yards, a touchdown, and no interceptions. Howell was 28 of 44 passing for 268 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. For us, Rashawn Johnson had 10 rushes for 44 yards. Herbert had 9 rushes for 27 yards and a touchdown. Fields had nine rushes for 11 yards, and Deonta Foreman had five rushes for 17 yards and a touchdown. For him, Brian Robinson Jr. had eight rushes for 32 yards. Antonio Gibson rushed seven times for 18 yards. Howell rushed once for 10, and Chris Rodriguez Jr. rushed once for no yards. And I'll let you look at the receiving stats really quickly. But yes, nice big win for us. We're going to go look at the... Uh, Standings board after all is said and done here. And you can see we are 4-1 and one after that big win against Washington. With Detroit right behind us at 3-2 and two and Green Bay and Minnesota each 1-4. and four. Denver is 5-0 and oh on the year and so are the Baltimore Ravens. Now the Ravens I would expect that. Denver I wouldn't. And uh, New Orleans down there in the south, the south is all struggling. It's, they lead it with 3-2 and two record. And the Rams are 5-0 and oh as well. And San Francisco's 4-1. and one. So that's where the, the league stands after five weeks. And that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.